Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be really different and fun from what I've done in the past. I've actually never filmed a TBR video before, so this is going to be fun. But I had a cute idea that stemmed from the fact that I actually really love art. I'm very into it, I'm trying to get better at it, and no, before you ask, I'm not going to show you anything that I have drawn. What am I, a psycho? Like, don't, don't ask me that. So, my idea was to pick my TBR based off of randomly generated color palettes. There's this app that, it's called Cool. I guess. I've never actually used this, but I've seen a lot of artists use it for like challenges and stuff. And I feel like there's just such beautiful art on some of these covers. This is on my TBR, by the way, all this. I've opted to put my TBR on my bookshelf because I have a bookshelf shortage and I felt like if there was anything that I that needed to entice me to read them, it'd have to be my physical TBR that I've been putting off. So, so yeah, I have all of these here and there's a wide array of color palettes. And so there's some that I'm going to avoid uh, reading for some obvious reasons, but that I nevertheless have to read at some point probably if I want to be part of the book community. So, yeah, I thought since it's really hard for me to decide the order of those things, why not just have a random color palette decide it for me? So, I'm probably going to pick about eight books that I'm going to add to my monthly TBR. So, without further ado, let's do some generating. All right, here we go. First color palette. I'm nervous. Oh, okay. Well, that's a lot of primary colors. It looks like a kid's, like a kid's book or something. <laughs> okay, blue, yellow, green, and red. The, those are specific. Okay, let me see. This doesn't really have any green, but it has like gold and red and blue. Sorry, you can't see me. I guess that can be an option. There's not many with like that color green. That's such an odd choice. The color generator really done did me wrong, huh? Seriously, to find a book like this, I'd have to like find a kid's book. Okay, wait, I think I kind of found one that matches a bit. So I think the tones aren't quite the same, but there is a lot of blue and red and, and there's green because of the greenery and then the lighting is kind of yellow. So this is Cruel Illusions by Margie Fuston. Fuston? I don't know how to pronounce that. I have no idea what this is about, but I loved the cover. And so like, look how cool this is. It's so mysterious, really kind of like storytelling already just with the cover alone. And I saw it recommended on Pinterest. And so I was like, okay, I'll add it to the TBR. But it looks like there's some fantastical elements. There's vampires apparently, according to the back. I really don't like reading the back of stuff. So I was just kind of like, uh, oh, vampires, uh, they murdered her mother. Okay, her mother is murdered by vampires. That's what I know. Yeah, this is the first book that we're going to add to my TBR. All right, next color palette to be generated. Ooh, okay, so we got a lot of greens, teals, and blues. And I think there are a few that are like that, if I'm not mistaken. House of Salt and Sorrows has a little bit of that. It's like kind of blue, but with green undertones. Um, so that's an option. A Man Called Ove. This one is a little bit more blue, but there's also like green grass. So that could be an option. This one does not strike me as a greenish blue. So I, I don't think that'll be an option. Ooh, this one is actually this one actually matches pretty well. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I really don't want to read that. Oh, this one. Oh, this one might do it. This is The Keeper of Hidden Books by Madeline Martin. I believe this is a historical fiction. My mom actually got this for me for my birthday because we both love historical fiction, especially when it's centered around World War II. And so that feels like it matches the color palette the best. So I think I'm going to choose that one, which my mom will be very happy about. So mom, if you're watching, I don't know. I don't, I don't think she watches my videos, but <laughs> if you are watching, then there you go. Alrighty. So The Keeper of Hidden Books is going to be the next choice for the TV. TBR, let's generate again. Ooh, okay, so we got kind of earthy tones, but also purple. So, hmm, that's interesting. The purple is like the, the accent color, or... All right, let's look here. So there's like browns and greens, so that's pretty earthy. What that makes me think of is like a scene in nature that... Where there's like a person in the scene of nature that is wearing purple. That's what it makes me think of. This doesn't really have any blue in it, so that can be an option because there's like dark colors with purple as well. That's an option. Mm. I don't think this one is cool enough, but there is purple and like it's kind of darker. Oh, this one's upside down. I don't know. That's really embarrassing. Oh, okay. We have the flame actually looks kind of similar because the blue here is on the purple side. Like the lighting looks kind of like olive. I know it's meant to be yellow, but like if you just take the color out and draw it on a piece of white paper, it would look a little bit green. So that, that might be the closest to the color palette. That's the thing about these color palette ones is I'm just going to have to pick the one that's closest to the color palette because 
I don't have like every single color represented here so I'm just gonna have to pick whatever is closest and I feel like with these they do have purple but they're not cool enough like they don't have enough cool tones and the color palette has cool tones I feel like this the lighting is a little bit cooler it's like on the cooler side of yellow so I think I'm gonna go with this one which is kind of fun because my friend read this and really liked it and so I'm really excited to read this and tell her what I think so we hunt the flame is going to be my choice for this third color palette all right let's generate again oh okay I didn't even put this back on the shelf but this like matches perfectly so I think <laughs> that is so fun yeah this is a really I guess defy the night is also a, a really similar one but I just feel like this this matches so well I don't know so I, I think I'm gonna choose this one I don't know a thing about this because I got it for a Christmas gift but this is called a river of golden bones by AK Mulford it is the first book of the golden court series Ooh. Ooh, okay, so it looks like this is a combination of a lot of different fairy tale esque things. Sleeping Beauty, Big Bad Wolf, House Moving Castle, Wicked Witch. So that's pretty fun. So I'm excited to read this because it kind of excites me when I know absolutely nothing about a book. So this is the fourth book on the TBR. All right, let's generate. I'll just put this back on the shelf right here. All right, let's generate again. Okay, I feel like this is a really reasonable one. Man Called Ove actually matches pretty well, so that is definitely gonna go on the list. So there's black and white in here, which is really common, but blue is also the color that pops the most, so I think that blue is gonna be the predominant color on one of these. This one matches pretty well to Song of Achilles, although the bronze is bronze, and this looks more like tan or beige or something along those lines, which is like a skin color, and so I feel like Man Called Ove might be the best. I just feel like this is a good- okay, well, then, I'm scared then, because <laughs> I've heard this is really sad. I'm pretty sure it's about this old man who's, like, become jaded with the world because his wife died? Something like that. And it's, like, very emotional, very, like, literary fiction make is designed to make you want to cry. So that's fantastic. It's written by Frederick Bachman. Yeah, well, I'm pretty much screwing myself over by putting this on the TBR because I am in for- some waterworks so that's great but that is the fifth book on the tbr so we got three more Ooh, that's pretty oh wait 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 oh am i gonna be starting the cosmere this month <laughs> i feel like that matches really well okay <laughs> that's crazy this is this is probably good because it i've been wanting to get into this so much but it's so intimidating that like I keep subconsciously putting it off no matter how much I want to get into it, but oh my gosh, this might be the month. So this is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, and I've heard that it is a good place to start in his universe because Brandon Sanderson has written many good, amazing series like The Way of Kings I have right here, but I, I looked it up and it seems like Mistborn is a good place to start in regards to the, the plot in the universe, even though he wrote Way of Kings first, if I'm not mistaken. So... <laughs> This is very exciting. So this is the sixth book on the TBR, and I'm very excited to see what I think of it. It's definitely on the shorter side of Brandon Sanderson's books, uh, so that's kind of nice. Number six, and then let's go with the next one. <gasps> Ooh, some more purple, but this one is a little more cohesive, so it might be easier to find. Uh, okay, well, we already have established that this one is, this one is pretty purple, and the other colors seem to match pretty well, so I might be going with this one, but let me see if there's another that fits. I mean, the cover, this cover of Sense and Sensibility has a lot of purple, but doesn't really have, these are like a bunch of tones of purple. There's like dust flying everywhere. <laughs> that's what happens when, um, these books have been here for a while, so that's too bad. There's Lovely War, but that's a little more pink than purple so i think this is the closest we're gonna get so we're gonna read this one anyway i guess i guess this color palette generator likes purple so this is defy the night by bridget kemmerer i have read or almost finished reading the curse breaker series i have the last book here. Um, so I might, I might read that. This is just the TBR that I, like, kind of want to require for myself this month, but I'm probably gonna be reading even more. So I might read that as well. I don't think these series are related. Let me look at the map. That's usually a good indicator. Okay, it does not look like the same country, at least. Um, so I hope they're unrelated, because I don't want to be spoiled. So yeah, that, this is the seventh. Four, five, six, seven. So we have one more color palette we're gonna be generating. Ooh, okay. All right, so we got a lot of pink slash red and some brown as well. Oh no, is there any green on this? Okay, thank God, I do not want to read that. Although brown could be a hair color, 
So, oh wait, oh, this actually fits really well because this has like teal flowers on it. Wow, okay, that's actually really perfect. All right, so these infinite threads is going to be the next book on the docket. All right, so we've got our eight. So here are the eight books I'm gonna be reading this month. So we got Cruel Illusions, Keeper of Hidden books. Oh my. We Hunt the Flame, A River of Golden Bones, A Man Called Ove, Mistborn, Defy the Night, and These Infinite Threads. That is hefty. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, so thank you guys so much for coming along while I pick my TBR. This, again, is my first video of this format, and so I really hope that you guys enjoyed, and I hope that you'll check in with me next time. This might become a recurring thing. I don't know if it's if people like it. So with that, I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.